So I have been testing TikTok instant pages and the results have actually been pretty surprising. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about what TikTok instant pages are, why you might want to consider using them and how to use them effectively to get more sales, leads, app installs, et cetera. And as far as what a TikTok instant page is, essentially it's a landing page that opens natively inside of TikTok and is built inside of TikTok. And there are lots of different benefits to these instant pages. The first one being the actual load speed because it is a very lightweight landing page that loads directly in TikTok the load speeds can be dramatically faster compared to your current landing page. TikTok has also done lots of case studies to compare instant pages versus typical landing pages. And on average, some people have decreased their, their cost per acquisition by 75%. Personally, I've been testing this and I haven't seen those drastic of numbers, but I have seen improvement in certain campaigns and other ones, not as much. And that's why later on in the video, I will be talking to you about maybe why your business should or should not be using TikTok instant pages. And one final benefit of these TikTok instant pages is that they are incredibly easy to create and they give you an alternative to paying for maybe an expensive landing page software or having to hire a designer to go through and build out your own landing pages. So now I want to jump into the platform and show you actually how these instant pages work, function, and how to build them for yourself. So here we are in inside of TikTok ads manager, I do highly encourage you to have your ads account manager open and so ready so that you can kind of follow along with these steps. If you don't have an account already created, you can check out the link down below to go through and create your TikTok ads account. But once you create your account or you're logged in, you're going to want to come here to the assets and then I'm in the instant pages. When you click on that, you're going to be taken to a page like this. Now, if this is your first time creating instant pages or instant forms, you, this will be blank. You won't see anything in here. As you can see, I have a couple of test ones inside of this and you can see the different types. So this is an instant page. And then these two are instant forms from a video that I did before with instant forms that you can check out right here if you want to learn more about those. But for creating our TikTok instant page, we're going to come here to create. And once you click there, it's going to open up a page that looks something similar to this. And there are lots of different options inside of here. You can see we have all sorts of templates that you can go through and customize. You can see this first tab that it's going to take you to. You're going to see all the different templates that are available. If you want to, you can come over to the exact customized ones. And we're going to go through these a little bit more detail in a minute. Or if you wanted to do lead forms or instant forms, here are two, uh, two instant forms as well. And then here is your app profile instant page as well. If you wanted to go through and do those, you can see what these kind of look like. And we're going to come back to those templates in a second. But if you really wanted to take a fast route, you could even come through through and give TikTok your website URL and it will go through and create an instant page for you. And all you need to do for that is there, click on this and then hit confirm. And then it's going to ask for the URL. We're going to give it uh, our URL here. This is one of my blogs. And from there, it will create the instant page. You can see here on the right hand side, it's taking images from my website. And you can see here on the right hand side, it is taking images from my website and text from my website. You, of course, will want to go through and customize this. And the, that's the great thing about this is it's fully customizable. You can do light color, dark color, color schemes, different things like that. You can also go through and change the exact images or say that there was an image inside of here that you didn't want. Like say, I didn't want this one right here. I can go through and delete that image. Oops, I deleted the one above it, but you get the idea. I can go through and delete that image or delete these headlines. Or if I wanted to add another component, say a video inside of here or a coupon, and we'll just add a video. You can go through and drag it all the way up to the top. So that there is a video on there as well. So we'll go through and add a file there real quick. So then you can see it goes through and puts a video inside of there. Now, I think building out the building out these components is pretty self-explanatory. So I don't want to spend too much time going through this because you can go through and add the components and learn this kind of for yourself. But there are specific things that I do want to call out. And that would be this product and service for people who are selling e-commerce goods or selling an actual product. You can come through here and add an actual image. So we'll add this keyboard. And the great thing is you can add up to eight here. And obviously this isn't going to look great. This is just for demo purposes. So if you scroll down, you can see this is what this will end up looking like you'll have a picture of the actual product and then the product name and then the uh, price. Or if you didn't want to show the price, you could turn this off and only do the product details. If you didn't want to show that it was on sale, all you would need to do is delete that. And then now it only shows the price. And then from here, as you can see optional, you can go through and add the actual destination URL which as you can imagine could go like right to a product page or something. So if somebody clicks on that image, it would take them there. So we'll go through and save this. And then I do want to show you other templates inside of here as well to give you an idea. So like I mentioned, if you didn't want to go through and create one from scratch or from your URL, or if you didn't want to create one from your URL, you could come through and actually do a custom one and build it from the very, from scratch, from the very beginning, you can come here and add all the individual components. Or if you wanted to go back as well, you could just start with the templates, which honestly, most of the time, that's what I recommend for people who are just getting started because these templates look pretty good and they're in a great format. And there's lots of different ones that you can do. You can see you have sales and product and uh, sales of products and services. You have a nice Im uh, image here at the beginning of video, and then a couple other images of the products, or you have brand story ones, introductions and brand pitch here. You have one for a video trailer. Basically this one I like for, I know that a lot of people run ads for music. Like this would be a great template. If you wanted to send people to multi-destination, say you had your 
your Spotify, your iCloud, and your like uh, Apple Music, all those different links, you could put them inside of there. So you could obviously get very creative with these templates. And, uh, and oh, and you also do have the app install template where you can go through and uh, create a landing page for your app install campaign, which can also be very useful for anybody running apps. Now, once you've actually gone through and created your instant page, how you then go through and create a campaign with this is you can come here to campaign and we're going to create a new campaign. There are only three ad objectives that allow you to run instant pages. It is traffic, website conversions, and app promotions. If you wanna learn more about ad objectives, you can check out this video right here. I go through more in depth on what you can and can't do into these different objectives. But essentially from here, all you need to do is select one of the objectives. We're just gonna do website traffic here. And then you'll of course wanna spend more time setting this up. We're just gonna kind of blaze through this. If you wanna learn more about these settings, I do have a full video training on this, this section of TikTok, but we're just gonna kind of go so I can show you exactly where these instant forms pop up. So we're gonna hit next here. And then as you can see, once you get to this page on the actual creative, you can come over here and instead of sending destination to a website, you can send them to your TikTok instant page. If you didn't go through and create the instant page before in the steps that we just talked about, you could create a new one. But in this case, we're just going to grab one from our library and you can see that it will pop up right here where we can grab our new page that we just got. We didn't publish this one back here, so we're gonna grab this one that I created before. And now we have our TikTok instant page. So here is when you should consider using instant pages versus your current landing pages. The first is if your current landing pages are very slow. And if you're curious on how to test, what I like to do is come to this page speeds.web. This is Google, so it's completely free and put in your landing page or website and then just go through and do analyze. It will take a second. It will go through and analyze your website and tell you exactly how fast it is and you know other ways to fix it as well. But you can see here when I go through the, the main number that you're probably looking at here is the first contentful paint. And if you're not sure what any of these mean, you can hit this expanded view and it will go through and explain them for you. But you can see here, this is the first, the first contentful paint marks the time at which the first text or image is painted. So it takes on average 2.6 seconds for this to load on this landing page, where opposed to these instant pages that load at 0.35 seconds, this can be huge for your conversion rates, especially on TikTok where people's attention span can be really low. So I encourage you to come through and analyze this for your website. You can see on mobile, my desktop is a lot better for this specific website. Like it's a lot better than it is on mobile, but of course, most of your users are on mobile. So you want to check this specifically for your mobile pages. If this number is anywhere above like a 0.5, it's definitely worth testing these TikTok instant pages. Next reason, to consider doing this is that you don't have a current process for building slash testing new landing pages. Maybe you don't have a, a designer to help bust them out, or maybe you don't know how to utilize the softwares and things, and you just want to be testing new things. I encourage you to take advantage of these instant pages because they are so easy to build. The third reason, which is kind of straightforward, but it is an important reason is that you're, you're not satisfied with your current conversion rates on your landing pages. And then finally, if you're running like a brand awareness campaign or different things, these aren't going to work. You need to be running a traffic conversion or app install campaign objective at the time of this recording. And in order to take advantage of the instant pages. The instant pages aren't available in the other ad objectives. So those are some of the reasons why you should consider using TikTok instant pages. But to be honest, I would probably recommend most people watching this video, if you're running TikTok ads, just go through and give it a test. And how I like to test them is just basically take two of the exact same campaigns with the exact same targeting and have one running to my landing page and the other one running to the TikTok instant pages. If you are running TikTok instant pages, I would love to know your thoughts on them. And if they're working for you, let me know down in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.